everybody. Get ready for our 45-ish minutes strength workout. Not much jumping, not much cardio involved here. This is usually for my atrium strength people from Tuesdays and Thursdays at atrium, at the atrium. Um, so, whether you're at the atrium or not, this is a good workout, strength-based. Um, you'll need a set of dumbbells and a mat and a good attitude. All right, here we go. We'll start with the warm-up, 30 seconds of each exercise. We'll go through this twice. All right, follow along with me. Remember, monitor your heart rate. Remember to monitor your talking. If you can't make short sentences, slow down. Take a deep breath. Take a breather. You can always take more rest than I prescribe. So listen to your body. This is your workout. Get the best and the most out of it that you can by listening to your body as we work. All right, here we go. We're back. We're going to start with 30 seconds of jumping jacks or step outs. And we're starting right here. So for these jumping jacks, this is a great option for those that are not jumping. So I'm doing tap outs instead of jumping. And if you're jumping, you're just going out and in. Nice and easy. This is your warm up. So we're taking it light. We're moving slow as we get that blood pumping through our body. All right. At the beat, good mornings with the calf brace. Hands at your heart, good morning. Bend at the hips, up on those toes, okay? I'm pushing my hips back behind us, keeping my knees slightly bent as I work and warm up my hamstrings, okay? My lower back. I'm also warming up those calves as I do that calf raise. All right, guys. Next up, we're gonna do a squat with a knee hug. All right, here we go. So feet hip width apart, squat down as low as you feel comfortable. Give that right knee a hug. Squat down as much as you're comfortable. Give that left knee a hug, okay? We're just moving here, controlled movements. If you're not feeling like going super deep in that squat, then don't. Do what you feel is best as you warm up and get your body primed for some movement. Give that knee a hug. We're working our balance right away with those knee hugs. Back to the top, we got jumping jacks. Okay? Out and in. Focus on that breath. 15. We're almost there. Again, if you're not jumping, you're still tapping out. Arms are coming over your head. That will get your heart rate moving. We want that blood pumping through your body. Warm up those muscles. All right, we're into good mornings again from the side. Slight knee bend. Hinge at the hips. Up on those toes for that calf raise. Hinge at the hips. Up on those toes for that calf raise. You got this, guys. Here we go. This is just the warm up, but I tend to think the warm up is a little more cardio based for this specific class than most. Um, than the rest of the day, the rest of that workout. All right, we're squatting, squat, knee hug. You can hold that knee hug for as long as you feel comfortable. Squat, knee hug, okay? You wanna slow those squats down and slow them down. Think about sitting back this round, second round. You can get a little lower here as you're warming up. Feeling the movement, feel like what, Feel every muscle kind of working and loosening up. Good, guys. All right, that's our time for our stand-up warm-up. Next up, we're gonna hit on our mats. So, pull the mat out. I'm gonna grab mine, okay? Or no mat if you don't need one. We're gonna get on our hands and knees for bird dogs, okay? So, this is one of my favorite warm-ups. You can use it as a core exercise too, but I like to use it as a warm-up. Opposite arm, right arm, left leg gonna come out. We're gonna bring them in for a crunch. And keep them back out, okay? For five, let's bring them in. Five, four, three, two, last one. Switch sides here. Left arm, right leg. Bring it in for five, four, three, two, last one. Good. We're going to stay right down here. Hands underneath those shoulders. We're on our knees. We're gonna breathe into a cat cow two times, holding for five seconds. Follow along with me. Breathe in. Hold it. We're a cat. 
You're pushing your shoulders down towards those hands, pulling that back up. Three, two, one. Exhale. Pull that head up. We're going to invert for cow. All right, one more time. Deep breath in. Cow. Or cat, sorry. We're doing cat. Cat, hold it. Three, two, one. Exhale. Breathe out. Get that cow. Good, you guys. All right. Um, we're going to do a little shoulder tap. So, you're going to be either on your knees into a high plank or on your toes in a high plank. Either one, we're in a high plank, okay? This is acceptable right here, and this is acceptable too. Either way, we're working hard. We're going to take that right hand, touch your left shoulder, and that left hand, touch your right shoulder. We're doing that for five, okay? So, this is five. Step four right here. On your toes, looks like this. Three. Two, keeping nice and still, and one. Good, you guys. We're gonna roll it back for a little down dog. Okay, a little stretch, pop those head through those shoulders. And if you're feeling great, add a little heel pedals for four, three, two, and one. All right, walk your feet to your hands, or hop them up, and you're gonna get up nice and slowly with a curved back. We're going to roll it up nice and slow to standing, okay? We're almost done with this warm-up. we got a couple arm circles and a couple arm hugs, one of my favorites. Kind of loosen up that back and those shoulders. So 10 arm circles, big rotations for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. We're going to go back. Palms can be facing back too. All right. Four, five, four, three, two, and one. And the last set of warm-up here, we're going to do some arm hugs. So give yourself a big hug, open it back up, and we're going to do that for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. All right, guys, get ready. Gonna grab a light set of weights and maybe a medium close by. We're gonna get ready for our first circuit, okay? Are we ready to get started with our strength? I bet we are. All right, we're gonna start with a lateral 45, deg uh, 45 degree shoulder raise and then a forward shoulder raise. We did this last week for most of you that were with me, so you should be familiar with the rooms. I want you to pick a weight that you feel like you could do 40 seconds without stopping. Okay, two weights in your hands. If you're feeling like two weights is too much, do single arms, okay? We're not here with those arms. We want you to make a V, and that's the angle that we're gonna travel with this shoulder raise. Palms are facing each other. And then our other exercise is gonna be a step out squat, okay? With two pulses. So, feet are gonna be together. You can hold one weight, or you can hold two in each hand, depending on what you're feeling, or not. You're gonna step over and squat, and then two pulses. So follow me to here. Squat, squat, back to center. Two squats. So two pulses, back to center, alternating legs. All right? Get started in just a second. I'll put the timer on. You guys follow along. Three, We're ready to work. Two, 45 four, degree raise. Here we go. Two, Breathe in. Raise. Exhale. Breathe in. Straight in front. Exhale. Breathe in and raise, exhale on the way down, breathe in, exhale. So these weights are going only to the parallel to the ground. We're not going above our shoulders, okay? So we're reaching and raising and then stopping at that shoulder. We're not going above, okay? Breathe in, we're over halfway done. Breathe in, exhale. So I want you to pull that lower back the belly button into your lower back. Rest. We're resting here, guys. We got 30 seconds of rest before we do our next uh, exercise, which is that step out squat, two pulses. I'm gonna hold one weight because I'm feeling a little tired today. I'm gonna hold one weight, put that one off to the side. All right, we're gonna hold one weight at our chest. You can hold it like a goblet. If you're holding two, you're holding it down like a suitcase, okay? Right down here. We're starting in five. You're gonna take that right foot, Step over for two pulses. Follow along. Three, two, one. Step over. Two squats. 
and back to center. So I'm pulsing two times. Pulse, pulse. Good. So sit back and down with those glutes and back. Okay? Whatever is comfortable for you. If you're finding your squat depth today to be here, that's fine. Work on it for next time. So each week, get a little bit deeper, work on it a little bit more, and you'll get stronger, you'll have better mobility, and you'll feel better. Okay? Good. Keep it up. Let's go. And we're going nice and slow. Nice controlled pace here. Rest. That's time. All right. We're resting right now. We're going to go back to the top. Okay? Here we are. Two weights. We got our 45 degree shoulder raise and our front shoulder raises. We're only doing these two these exercises twice each. Okay? Both to a timer. So breathe in. Get ready. We got the shoulder raises. Next, palms are facing out or towards each other. Here we go. Breathe in. Let's raise. And forward. And diagonal. And forward. Diagonal. And forward. 20. Diagonal. We're over halfway done. Pull that belly button towards your lower back. Relax those shoulders. If you find them creeping towards your ears, relax. Roll them back. Good. Raise. And jump. Raise and jump. Good, guys. Awesome. All right. So I'm going to hold two weights this time to show you what it looks like holding two weights like a suitcase for your squats. Okay? We've got that. Step out. Two pulses. Back to center. And we're swapping legs. Okay? We're starting in about 15 seconds. Grab a quick drink of water if you need it. So I'm going to let these hang down like a suitcase. Okay? It's called a suitcase hold. We're going to start with those feet together. Let's step to the left this round first. So step over. Here we go. Step over. Two pulses. Back to center. Step over. Two pulses. Back to center. Now you're getting as wide with this squat as you want. Okay? I'm keeping my foot a little bit wider than my hips as I step over. If you need to go wider, go for it. 20. That's more of a sumo squat and that's fine too. Whatever you feel is best for your body today is what we're going for. Okay? You're here. You're working hard. That's all that matters. We're almost there. Focus on that breath. That's it. Good, guys. All right. We are going to take a quick break. Grab your water. Get ready for your cardio burst. We're doing two rounds of 30 seconds each for your cardio. All right. Back to the cardio, we get a little cardio reverse. Two rounds of 30 seconds each, 20 second rest in between. You need no weights, okay? Follow along with me. We did this last week. We are doing three lateral steps. One, two, three. And a hold, a knee hold. We're holding that knee parallel to the ground, okay? Stopping it, making a nice uneven three angle, holding it for two. One, two, three, hold. If you are not a hopping person, totally fine. You're doing something else. You're marching, one. Two, three, hold. This time when you're marching, your knee's gonna be above parallel. If you're the marching, if you're jumping and hopping, you're gonna hold it at parallel. All right, here we go. For 30 seconds of work, starting on my timer. Starting. We're starting right here. We're going to the right first. Three. Three steps two. over. Here we go. Three hops. One, two, two three, hold. One, two, three. Quick feet. One, two, three. Working on our fast, explosive movement, and really on our balance. As you balance on that one foot, one, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold. If you are marching, we're here. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three. One, two, three. Either way, you're working hard. Rest. Good, guys. Resting right here. You've got 20 seconds of rest. Catch your breath. We're doing the same thing again. Only two times for this cardio. Okay, heart rate should be going up. Catch your breath. Focus on your breathing. Let's go. We can do anything for 30 seconds. Starting in three seconds. Here we go. Let's go to the left here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hold. One, two, three. Hold it. You got it. Don't cheat. Hold that leg up. Working on our balance. 
Coordination, if you're marching, we're here. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold. You got this. Make it count. Hold. Hold. Awesome, guys. All right, get ready. We got round two of strength coming up next. Grab some water and get ready. All right, I'm back with some strength for you. We're going to start with the Arnold Press. Nothing fancy about this Arnold Press, something you guys have all done before with me, or most of you. All right, I'm going to grab those weights for you. Here we are. I grabbed a set of medium to light weights. I'm going to stand with my feet hip width apart. I'm going to raise my arms into a 90 degree angle from the side. Looks like this, okay? We're doing a single press, rotating that palm out and away from you at the top, and then doubles, okay? Single, single, double. That's it, nice and simple. Making sure that I'm keeping these arms parallel to the ground and a nice right angle with that forearm and the upper arm, okay? Pick a way you can do for 40 seconds without rest. We're going to pair that with a deadlift with a kickstand. We have done these time and time again. If you haven't done them, a simple way to find that kickstand. Right foot forward, left foot out, make a nice L. This is the backwards L. We're going to rotate on that toe. We want 90% of weight in that front foot, 10% in the back. We're going to deadlift. Reach down, come back up. That's it. Reach down, come back up. We're doing 40 seconds on that left side. And 40 seconds on that right side. The most important thing for this deadlift lift is that you are keeping your shoulders back and your chest proud the whole time as we hinge. None of this, and I'm not there to correct you. So if you're feeling like you're like this, or you have a friend with you and they say, oh my gosh, you're back, fix that. Fix that before you get injured. Roll those shoulders back. We are gonna lead with our chest, only down until you're comfortable, and then back up, okay? Let's go, we got 40 seconds of work. 30 seconds of rest. We're going through this twice. Each exercise two times. All right, get ready. Grab those weights for your arm press. Palms are facing you. Let's go. Left arm up, right arm up, both arms up. Okay? Nice and simple. Left, right, both arms. Good. A little rotation at the top. Focus on your breath. Breathe in as it goes up. Exhale on the way down. And then both. Same thing. We're halfway done. Soft knees. Make sure we're not locking out those knees. And we're not bent or hinged over. But I don't want those knees locked. Good. Pulling that belly button. Stretch up tall. Relax those shoulders if you feel like they're creeping towards your ears. We're almost there. Awesome, guys. We're resting. Get ready for your deadlifts. I'm going to swap out just a little heavier weights. I didn't bring much with me today. But... If you want to get heavier, this is the time for your deadlifts because it's not coming above your, uh, basically the weight's not coming above your hips. Let's use that left leg first, so left leg forward, okay? And I'm going to make that L. I'm going to rotate so that I'm at my toe. 10% of your weight is on your back foot, okay? Make sure that we're following that. Most of my weight's in the front. Let's work. Hinge and drive, okay? Hinge over at the hips. And you don't need to go too far underneath your knee to feel that in that hamstring, okay? Weights are close to you the whole time. Just walking them right down my legs and I'm stopping right below my knee. Reach 20. and drive. We're halfway done. We'll do the other side next. Reach and drive. Good. Hands you got the hips, push those boots out behind you. 10% is on that toe. Don't catch, don't catch yourself leaning on that back leg. Single leg movement. We're resting here, we're gonna switch legs. So put those weights down if you want. All right, in 20 seconds, right leg forward, left leg back. And we'll do the same deadlift on that right leg before we start round two, okay? If you need water, don't get it now, you have 10 seconds to go. So wait till next round. Here we go. Right leg forward, left leg back, Make that kickstand, that L, let's work. Hinging over, drive, and back up, okay? Reach down, walk those weights down, and then open up those hips. So then close the hips, open the hips, okay? Your left foot, 10% on that weight, on that, in that foot. Most of the weight's in my front foot, which is nice and flat, okay? 
Good, shoulders are back from the side. I'm looking like this, okay? Nice flat back as I hinge and drive. Breathe in, exhale on the way up. Rest. Good, you guys, all right. If you are using heavier weights, swap out to those lighter weights for your Arnold press, which is gonna be next, okay? Right over here. All right, so Arnold press, single, single doubles. Using that hold, I'm gonna come from the side that way you guys can see what that 90 degree angle looks like. I want you to envision it, envision it for yourself. Here we go. Weights are up, okay. Left arm, press. Right arm, press. Both arms are pressing, okay? You do not have to go the same speed as me. You can go slower, or please go faster if you feel so, feel like it. This is your workout. You get out what you put in. And you guys usually kick butt, and I'm sure you are, even though I can't see it, I'm sure you're kicking butt. You guys are super motivated and in shape, and I'm super proud to be a part of it. All right, guys, five seconds. Last one, press, press, get that double in. Woo! All right, we are on the deadlifts, our last round, okay? If you're using heavier weights, now it's time to grab them. As you rest, you got 20 seconds, you grab a drink, quick drink of water if you need it, okay? So, I'm gonna come to the side this way this time. I want you guys to envision that one leg getting most of that weight from that deadlift. So, let's do left leg first again. Left leg in the front, right leg, make that L. We're working here, keep that weight close to you. Hinge and open and close those hips. Good. Inhale, exhale on the top. Inhale, exhale at the top. Shoulders back. Now, if you're finding that you get too low and you feel like you're feeling it too much in your lower back, you don't have to go so low. Stop right at your knees, okay? You don't need to hinge too low. Wherever you feel it the most in your hamstring, that's our goal here is that hamstring. Rest. Good, guys, we're resting. Get ready for the other side, that right foot we'll do next, okay? I'm gonna put these weights down, give myself a little bit of a break. So, in 15-ish seconds, we'll use that right leg and then we'll get a nice break before we do our cardio burst, okay? So 20, or 40 more seconds to work on that right leg. We're starting in eight seconds, so get prepared, okay? Right leg forward, left leg in that kickstand, and we're gonna hinge, hinge, and drive. So that left leg is slightly bent. My right leg is pretty straight, very slight bend. My left leg can bend a little bit more as I'm hinging over, but most of my weight's in that front foot. Okay, good. Pull that belly button in. Focus on that core being stable and supporting your back. Because your back needs to be nice and stable for you to hinge without using it too much here. We really want to isolate that glute and that hamstring. Good, we're almost there. Reach and drive. Last one. Good job, guys. All right, put those weights away. Get ready for your cardio burst. All right, we're into cardio round two for our cardio. We're doing one exercise. We're doing it two times. That's it. 30 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. We'll start with that right leg. We're doing a reverse lunge with a knee drive. Jump or not jump, this is a great move for you. We're gonna pull back that right leg into a reverse lunge, and you're going to drive that knee up towards the ceiling, hopping off the ground, okay? Right back into it, reverse lunge, knee drive. That's it. Now, get rid of the hop. You're still working hard. Reverse lunge, drive. We did some knee driving earlier as we did those fast, uh, those shuffles, okay? Same thing here. The most important thing, this is cardio. This is your time to get your heart rate a little higher. We are pumping those arms the whole time. We will swap feet halfway through, okay? Starting in five seconds. There we go. Let's start with that right leg back since we just practiced that. Here we go. Reverse lunge, knee drive, okay? 
We're hopping at the top. Reverse lunge, knee drive. Reverse lunge, knee drive. We're switching legs in five seconds. If we're not hopping, this is what it looks like. 15. Switch legs. Okay, seamless transition. Swap those arms. I'm not hopping here, and I'm still getting my heart rate up. If you're hopping, you're jumping straight up. Drive that knee, drive that leg off the ground. Rest. Good, 20 seconds to rest, catch your breath. Okay, if you need longer, take longer. No worries at all. All right, here we go. Catch your breath, and we're gonna get ready. Let's start with that left leg this time, okay? That way, you'll be a little fresher. All right, left leg back, left leg driving. Opposite arms, opposite legs, drive. Okay? You also can alternate between the hopping and the non-hopping. That works just fine. 15. Switching legs here, switch legs. Easy transition. Okay? Hop. Hop. Good, guys. Awesome, that's it. We did both that two times. Get some water, get ready for round three. All right, I'm into round three, and so are you guys. We're gonna grab those light weights or whatever you can use to do a bicep curl. We're doing a bicep curl to a chest press diagonally from your shoulder. We did these on Thursday. You should be pretty familiar with them, okay? We're gonna be up doing a 90 degree hold on one arm while the other arm's working. So we're gonna start in this 90 degree hold position and we're gonna do a bicep curl and then a press diagonally from your shoulder. We're gonna meet those weights back together. Bicep curl, diagonal press, okay? Keeping those elbows locked in to your rib cage. Very basic bicep curl, that press is the extra, okay? Um, then we are going to do a straight arm kickback, not to be confused with a tricep kickback. We're going to be hinged over at our hips. First, I want you guys to stand nice and tall, feet are hip width apart. I want you to bend your knees a little bit, stay nice and tall. Then I want you to push your glutes out behind you, okay? And close this hip angle just a bit. Nice neutral spine here, okay? I'm not sitting back. I'm not here, or nice neutral spine, my shoulders are soft. I'm gonna get two weights in both hands, one in one hand, one in the other, and we're gonna keep them right on our thighs. We're gonna kick them back, straight arm. And then we'll do the other arm, and then we'll do double, okay? Single, single, double. That's it, triceps and biceps. This is our last circuit, okay? We're working triceps and biceps here, and then we'll get our last round of cardio in before we go into some core. All right, get ready. Guys, grab those weights, get ready. Here we go, 90 degree hold. Down, curl, and diagonal press, okay? Pull that belly button in right here. Make sure we're not sticking out our abdomen as we're working. Bicep curl, diagonal press. Good, we got two rounds in, so settle in. Good, you're getting super strong. So we're working on that chest here and that back. We did an Arnold press earlier, this is a little different. Okay, we're coming diagonally from our arm. Rest. Good, we're resting here, you got 20 seconds. This is a pretty quick circuit, shouldn't be too long. I want you guys to practice this stance right here, soft shoulders, we're doing our straight arm kickbacks next. Okay, let's do bend the knees slightly, feet are hip width apart, hinge over, weights are right next to your thigh. Okay, let's work right here. Right arm straight back, left arm straight back, both arms straight back, okay? Notice my gaze is out in front of me. I'm not looking down here and curving my neck. I'm about three feet in front, so my spine stays neutral and straight, okay? Take a look in the mirror if you're by a mirror and see what you're looking like, okay? Single, single, doubles. Good, guys. If you're feeling great, move a little faster. Rest. All right, we're resting here. 20 seconds to rest. You can put your weights down. I don't feel like picking them up again, so I'm gonna hold them. We got bicep curls next with that press, diagonally from that shoulder. All right, guys. We're gonna switch also to a hammer curl. Palms are gonna face each other. Here we go. Hammer curl, we're gonna hold here. Hammer curl and a press. 
Good, we're just switching that stance a little bit. Sorry, I didn't tell you earlier, but you'll feel a little bit different. It might feel a little easier. Press, good. So my palms are facing each other instead of facing up. Good, curl and press. I still have that nice 90 degree hold on my arm, on that bicep. Good, got it. Rest. Awesome guys, tricep kickbacks, or sorry, not tricep kickbacks, straight arm kickbacks coming up next. We are starting in about 10 seconds, okay? Feet are hip width apart, let's get ready. Roll those shoulders back. Hinge at, bend at the knees, hinge at the hip. Neutral spine, gaze out in front of you three feet. Left arm, right arm, both arms. Good, I want you to hold that double for one extra second here, hold it, one. That makes it much harder. Kick it back, kick it back, and then double, hold. Good, you got this. You're killing it. You're doing better than you even know. You're killing this workout. Hold, Woo. good job guys. All right, put those weights away and get our last cardio. Last round of cardio, two rounds. 30 seconds each, pretty quick and short. We're gonna do skaters. You are hopping laterally. So we'll start in that kind of curtsy lunge here. We're gonna take that right foot. We're gonna explode to the right. Whether you're jumping or not, you're still moving sideways with purpose, okay? Jump to the right or step over. Jump to the left, step over. This tap, you don't have to do it. You can stay nice and tall and upright. If you're not jumping, you are stepping over fast. Okay, we're here. This is cardio. We're getting our heart rate up. If you're jumping, you're doing the same thing here. Okay, laterally moving. Please don't bang into each other if you're in the atrium room. I know how small that is. All right, guys, we're starting right here. Get ready. 30 seconds of work. Start at five. I'm going to show you both three, moves. Two. Both modifications. Okay, we're moving to the side. Skaters. Tap. If you're tapping your ankle, great. If you can't get your ankle, tap your knee. Either way, you're working and you're moving sideways. Laterally, that's the goal here. If you are not jumping, we're here. Okay? Back and forth. Out and in with those arms. Good. Either way, you're working hard. Kick and butt. Three seconds. Two, one. Catch your breath. One more time. Breathe in, breathe out. We got 15 seconds, guys. Then we're on the home stretch. We're gonna go right into some uh, core work on your mat on the floor. Here we go. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Back to skaters. Let's go to the right. Okay. You're hopping. You're tapping. You are working on whatever feels good for you at the end of this workout. Okay. I am. Moving with purpose, feeling good, whatever makes you feel good about your movement at the end of this class is what you want to do right here. We're almost there. Three seconds, two, and time. Awesome, guys. Get out those mats, get on the floor, grab some water. I'll meet you there in a minute. I'm back. You guys ready for your core workout? Your finisher, all right? We're gonna do this for reps, not on the clock this time. You can stay with me for these reps or just work until that set is done, it's up to you. We're gonna do 20 dead bugs to start. We're gonna be on our backs, on our mat, with that lower back pushed into the mat as much as you can, um, as much as you feel comfortable, okay? So, we're gonna be on our backs. We're going to push our, I want you to think about pulling that belly button towards your lower back, tilting your pelvis a little bit more forward. We're gonna get up with these legs into that dead bug position, 90 degree angle. Lower leg is parallel to the ground, hands are up, okay? We're doing a set of 10 alternating taps, 10 per leg. Let's start with that right leg in three, two, one. Right leg goes down, left leg stays still, okay? Connect, so that's two. So tap together, tap together. That's four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Keep going. Thirteen, fourteen. Pull that belly button in. Fifteen, sixteen, 
17, 18, 19, 20. Good, you guys. All right. You're going to stay right here. We're going to do a couple crunches. I want your right ankle across your left knee. We did these a couple weeks ago. Hands are behind your neck. I don't want you pulling your neck off the mat. I want your, with your hands, I want your hands resting and I want your shoulders to come off the mat, not just your neck. Okay, we're gonna go left elbow to right knee for 10 in a crunch, in, or as close as you can. In three, two, one. Breathe out. Inhale, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides here. Left ankle on your right knee in three, two, one. We're working. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Belly button pulled in. Two, and one. Awesome, you guys. All right. We're going to flip it over for our last exercise before we repeat everything one more time. Okay? We're going to be on our hands and knees here. We're actually going to be on our hands and toes into a plank. We're going to hold it. First, a couple of plank taps. We're going to do 20 total, 10 per side. If you don't want to tap out, you just hold it until we're done. Okay? So, a high plank is going to look like this. Okay? Hands underneath my shoulders. Feet are stacked underneath uh, as low, as far back as I can. Or you can be on your elbows. Okay? But our body is parallel to the ground. So if you find yourself here, that your pelvis is too low, if you find yourself here, your booty is too high, find that nice neutral position, pull in that belly button to support that lower back. All right, we're gonna do it together. I'm gonna be on my elbows and toes. You do whatever you feel comfortable with. All right, here we go. And left leg tap and right leg tap. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I forgot to tell you, you can be on your uh, knees as well. So let's stop right there. You can be here and still tap that knee out, okay? We're still doing the same thing. Let's do our last set of 10 here. I'll show you on my knees. Three, two, one. Tap it out. Tap it out, okay? I'm still working hard. I'm still supporting myself. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, you guys. Notice the straight line with my body, even though I'm on my knees, okay? I'm not here. I'm here. Good. Sorry I didn't explain that earlier. Let's get on our backs to our last set of dead bugs. Grab some water if you need. Give you guys a couple seconds. Last set of 20 dead bugs. Here we go. All right. Lower back pulled onto the ground. If you need more time, put this on pause and get some more water. And when you're ready, get back to it, okay? I'll be right here, ready to go. We're in this dead bug position, lower back on the ground, and let's start in three, two, one, right leg down for a tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And 20. Good. All right, we got those crunches. We're on the home stretch. We're almost done. Left leg first. Left leg on right ankle. Right elbow to left knee. In three, two, one, we're crunching for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Last one, switch sides here, guys. Switch those ankles over. Left elbow to right knee in three, two, one. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right, we got our last set of plank taps next. Knees, toes, Elbows, our hands, whatever you feel comfortable with. This is our last round, okay? All right, you guys, we got 20 total. I'm going to show you from, uh, from my arms being straight for this last one. All right, elbows, our hands and toes, elbows and toes, 
our knees and toes. Here we go. Three, two, one. Tap it out with that right foot and left foot. Doesn't matter if you start on the other foot than me. Four, nice straight back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, almost there, seventeen. You got this. Eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Awesome, you guys, that's it. That's your full workout, full body, atrium strength, arm strength. Um, for any levels of fitness, okay? Um, questions, you guys, send me a note. Uh, send me an email, send me a DM, comment on this post, um, and let me know what your thoughts are. If you liked it, hated it, you found me annoying, or wonderful, I'd love to hear. Hopefully more wonderful than annoying, but. Have a great day, you guys. Stay strong. Do your best. I hope you take all that positive vibes and kick and butt in this workout for the rest of your day and make it the best one.